I saw my first therapist ever last week. Really? Oh, really? First time ever. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How was that? Disappointed. Disappointed? <laughs> really? I think, you know, I just, I just, it's like, it's like losing your virginity, perhaps. You just sort of, or at least I do, you, you put it on a pedestal and uh, nothing could really compare to it. So it's my failing, not his, but he was a huge failure. <laughs> I, I entered therapy recently, I think probably maybe for the similar reason, just because you feel like you hate something you should do, right? I mean, Woody Allen did it. We should do it, right? We should do it. Right. I read this thing in The New Yorker, I could be butchering some facts, but I think I understood it, that Noah Baumbach, you know, went to see a therapist. This is like a year or two ago, this piece. And he just had this real breakthrough, and, and um, he made Squid and the Whale shortly after. All this sort of creative stuff just poured out of him. And all, those type of things, I kind of thought, okay, maybe this is... I also heard a, conversely, I heard a David Lynch story where he went to see a therapist uh, and he said, you know, within the first few minutes, is this, does this have any potential of compromising my creative uh, ability? Will, will this damage me? And the, sh the therapist said, it might. And he's like, thank you very much. And he walked out the room. And that was his one experience. Wow. Now he does so, transcendental meditation, right? He shifted. He shifted. Lateral movement, yeah. yeah. But I was very disappointed by my therapist. I, I, he's so old, he'll never hear this. That's one of the reasons I was disappointed. He was just really old. old. And I, I wanted an old guy. I, I, I thought an I did old too. Jewish guy. That's what I got, an old Jewish guy, in ancient. The, and I thought he's just sort of a, he's just absolutely drenched in experience and said he was drenched in uh, Alzheimer's. <laughs> so, that's, that's okay to say, right? It's a little unkind. Yeah. But, but look, it's true. I've said worse things on this show. <laughs> let's, let's bring it back to virginity, which you brought up. And you know, today in New York, New York Magazine, you're the subject of 21 questions, and uh, they, they talked about your virginity. You, you were talking about, you don't want the girl you lost her virginity to knowing that you lost it to her. It would be so shameful for me to find out because of the age that I was when I put my penis inside her. Yeah? It would be so embarrassing. I don't know, I'm not gonna give you a number. You're not gonna give I'll, give number. You, I'll give you a number, which is not sociologically anchored or anything, but I would suspect I'm in the one percentile. The, 1%. the bad one percent. Right. I'm like a thirteen-year-old. Right. On the other side. Exactly. You with me? I'm, I'm still working on it. <laughs> Doesn't like not good with numbers. Not good. Yeah. Are, are we talking like between twenty-five and thirty? Yeah, I'm not gonna do. Not that. gonna go there. Not gonna go there. Family show. I'm trying to get some good there. stuff out of you today. Well, so, so, so therapy may not be the, the answer for you, but... Not this therapist. Not this therapist. See, I changed therapists too. My first therapist, I, I kind of got off to the wrong foot. I said, um, I'm sexually attracted to my mother and I fantasize about killing my father. Other than that, no issues. 